Hey y'all, here we go. This is Rob, Hawaii Hog Blog, and I was here in my house cleaning some meat, and I figured I'd go ahead and take out some chunks of meat and show you what I do when I get a wild animal and I get it all chopped up here at the house. So that's what I'm doing right now, and I figured I'd just show you real quick. Hey, so first things first, I don't have a cameraman. I just, uh, like I said, I was cleaning meat in my house. And I figured, hey, what the heck, I'll push record and show you guys what I do. I've already got the pig cleaned, all right? So this is a wild pig. And uh, I already uh, got the, got it all quartered, cleaned. It's been in the freezer for like a week. I just didn't have a uh, chance to clean all the meat off. So right now, here it is. In a gar garbage bag, in a cooler. Took it out yesterday to thaw out. It's thawed out, now I can chop it, all right? And uh, basically all I'm doing is taking out the legs, the back straps, the meat that I got off of it. Um, getting it all off the bone, cleaning it up, putting it in Ziploc bags and putting it back in the freezer because I'm not cooking it tonight. So I figured I'll show you what I do when I actually prep the meat, all right? So first, I'm gonna get it out of the cooler, wash it off. So what I got right here is a shoulder, all right? The, uh, I don't know, oh, it's the left, <laughs> left shoulder right here. And I just got it right here in my sink. I'm gonna wash it off, get some of the hair. Uh, believe it or not, your meat that you get in the grocery store comes clean already. No hair on it, no nothing. Isn't it amazing? So if you're going to do this, if you're going to go hunt on your own, just be prepared. There's going to be hair, there's going to be dust, there's going to be dirt, there's going to be grass, there's going to be stuff on the meat that you need to clean off. So just because you cleaned it outside and you skinned it, doesn't mean that it's all ready to eat. So let's wash it off first, get some of that extra dirt and hair and whatever else is on there. Okay, bringing it over here to a cutting board. Boom. This is one of the most important steps, I think. Okay, I've got a fillet knife. I keep sharpening it. I want a really sharp knife. But the most important thing I think is critical to wild game meat is removing all the connective tissue, all the, you might hear it called silver skin. All right, anything that just, uh, that'll make that meat chewy, tough, have a weird flavor to it. And uh, I've even cooked a uh, wild goat here from Oahu and pigs for people that said they didn't like wild meat or they were curious what it tasted like. And after I cooked it, they liked it, all right? And the key piece of that is the preparation phase. Right now, what I got going on is removing all the dirt, the hair, the nastiness, all right? Get all that off the meat. And uh, particularly, any of this connective tissue, all right? All this stuff that's holding all the meat together, Get rid of all that. And basically I take a sharp knife and I start pulling up all that silver skin and I just start pulling it away and cutting it off the meat. And I go round and round and round until I get most of that stuff off. All right, you're not gonna get all of it, but you're gonna get enough so that when you bite into that meat, you're actually chewing meat and not just uh, chewing up all this connective tissue and getting it all caught. I know some of you probably eaten tough meat before and you're wondering like, man, I can't get this down and you're choking on connective tissue, all right? So get as much of that off as you can before you ever even decide uh, how you're gonna cook it. So here we go. I'm not gonna waste the whole video showing you how I do it, but here's just a example, all right? Just pull that connective tissue up and uh, sometimes you could get right up under it, all right? This is like the shin right here, the shank of the leg, all right? And I just keep going round and round till I get it off, all right? And that's gonna make, make your meat so much better. I got a few more things to show you. Let me hit pause here. Okay, so the next step, what I'm doing with all these uh, quarters, all right, this shoulder and the hams, is basically, if you don't have the whole big uh, butcher shop set up, okay, it's pretty simple. You're just uh, deboning the meat, all right? With a shoulder meat, a lot of the meat I use is just for stews, chilies, that kind of stuff, all right? So I'm gonna chop all this meat up anyways. So basically, you just go around, you follow the bone, right? You follow the bone, and you just cut the meat off the bone, all right? And uh, you'll commonly hear that term deboning. But that's all I'm doing here with this shoulder, okay? So I've already, you can see my little scrap pile here of all that connective tissue. And now I'm going to cut up this meat. And once I get it into, uh, well, once I get it off the bone there, off the elbow, all right, so once I get it into these chunks, all right, I'll go back through and still remove some more of this um, connective tissue so that the meat is just uh, good fresh meat that you can bite into. Okay, so I've got everything chopped up here. All right, here's just a chunk of meat off the shoulder. All right, and uh, basically what I've done is made a Ziploc bag of shoulder meat. Throw that sucker in there, seal her up really good. And uh, shoulder meat I'm usually gonna use for like stews, chili, stuff like that. I'm gonna chop it up a little bit more. 
all the scrap meat that I can uh, chop off the bones, I put in another bag. I'm just gonna call this stew meat. Some of the bigger chunks of meat, like off the ham or off the back strap there, what I'm gonna do with those is actually use those chunks of meat and maybe slice them and make little steaks. And you can't go wrong with just taking some of this shoulder meat or the ham, or if you got the full leg and you clean it off, throw that sucker in a big pot, in a crock pot, slow cook it with lots of seasonings, lots of garlic, and just let it slow cook until it all falls off the bone. You can't go wrong with that. So I just wanted to show you a quick little uh, how-to on how to prep the meat. I think one of the key things of making good wild meat is here in the kitchen, once you've got the animal cleaned and quartered, you bring the, the uh, meat to your processing area and clean it. Like actually get it clean so you have nice clean meat like you would find in a, uh, in a grocery store. And you'll find that your wild meat will taste a whole lot better if you just take a little bit of extra time in that prep phase. All right, so um, there you go. That's my little how-to video this evening. Throwing meat in the Ziploc bags. All right, once I get it off the bone, get that silver skin, that fascia, that connective tissue all off of it, wash it off one more time, seal it up really good, throw it in the freezer, you'll be fine. All right, we'll talk to you all later. Keep watching our videos and I'll keep posting them.